Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another movie review. Recently, Dad and I went to the cinema to see Pixar's Brave, and honestly, we were just taken away by it. It was completely majestic, and glorious, and gorgeous, and everything about it was just jaw-droppingly beautiful. This movie was resplendent. I mean, there was nothing in it that I found objectionable or stereotyped or biased or anything. And I just, I love Merida. I absolutely adore Merida. She is a very strong character, a little bit stubborn, but <laughs> I kind of relate to her. Uh, <laughs> she's, um, she's a free-spirited character who makes her own decisions and um, decides to change her fate. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to say that without giving too much away of the story. But it's a, it is a five star story and it's just absolutely wonderful, magnificent, uh, tremendous and the action's non-stop and it is hilarious. I, there are a lot of sequences here with, with the clans that are very funny that I really enjoyed. Um, I also liked the, the triplets were hysterical. Oh, they were just darling little imps and little troublemakers that they just uh, cause mischief wherever they go. And a lot of the sequences were just literally breathtaking. I mean, I I just felt my jaw drop. I was just I I was just completely taken away by that. And um, one of the things that kind of caught me by surprise was the fact that they dedicated the film to Steve Jobs. And uh, I think the references to Clan Macintosh actually, which really made me laugh. Ah. Why do they have Clan Macintosh? Ha ha! <laughs> Hooray, Clan Macintosh! But it 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 made me cry because I have so much respect for Steve, and he's um, one of the people that I look up to, and I I consider him my idol, and without which there would be no movies such as this or Pixar's Renderman, which was responsible for rendering of the characters and this, that, and the other. Uh, I didn't get to see the short of the beginning, which was called La Luna, which in Espanol means in the moon. Um, but the the little character at the very beginning, he, he looked like a younger version of Professor Layton. <laughs> or actually, he looks, he looks more like a Lay Layton's uh, assistant, which uh, I thought was interesting. I thought, oh, it's little Luke. What's Luke doing on the moon? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, kind of a Professor Layton dork, but um, <laughs> it was really a, an adorable little film. And they, they were speaking Italian, I think. Uh, Italian, Spanish, or Portuguese. I don't know, some, some romance language, but they were doing a lot of gesticulation. So I'm thinking it was probably Italian. <laughs> um, the the movie itself, getting back to Brave, um, it truly is a wonder. It it is just absolutely uh, expansive, and every little detail is uh, just gorgeously depicted. Uh, maybe the the slightest uh, surface of a rock or the texture of uh, Angus's mane and his. The, uh, when he's running the the wind through his mane and his uh, fur, and just the 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 fur around his uh, uh, forequarters and hindquarters is just uh, it's so realistic. It's even the fabric and Merida's long uh, ginger tresses are just absolutely glorious. It is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen, and having. Having um, a little penchant for gingers myself, I, I felt this a little bit biased, but um, it was truly a, a magnificent film. And uh, if you're a, a fan of Pixar, I highly, highly recommend it because it's it's a two star. I mean, it's a two thumbs up, five star film. 
I was going to say two star, it was no way. It's five stars, two thumbs way up. Sorry for my gaffe, but um, it really and truly is a um, really uh, magical, spiritual film. And there's a good lesson at the end that I really enjoy. And I think that <coughs> everybody c can get a lot of entertainment, entertainment value out of it. It's got action, adventure, and um, a good family story. And the characters are very likable. And it's just fun. It's very in entertaining, rollicking, uh, action adventure film. And the humor is just tremendous. It is <laughs> I'm still laughing about I'm not going to give away, but let me just say it involves kilts, and it's very fun. <laughs> uh, I'm still laughing about that scene. Um, but it's just really a, a good family movie, but I wouldn't recommend it for children under the age of seven, because a lot of the um, chase sequences and um, especially with uh, more the uh, they're really terrifying. I mean, terrifying. And even I was gritting my teeth and kind of clenching the side of my chair, thinking, "Please don't let him. Get, please don't let him get Merida. Please don't let him get Merida. Don't let him get her. Please don't. Don't let him kill her." But um, it was just uh, just a very frightening sequence, and little kids would be you know, petrified of that, but other than that, it's, it's really a, um, outstanding movie, just astronomically good, phenomenal, and it is a work of art from the beginning to the end, and the panorama, just lovely, completely awe-inspiring, and I, I was just so taken by it, and it, it really whisks you away into this other world, this this magical place, and it, it does prove that um, magic really does exist, and I like that lesson as well, because I think that magic does exist in the real world, you just have to look, and it can exist in the most unlikely places.